This room is not as if it was designed by meat creatures. It is more as if it, as if it were fashioned of a uh, aberrant madness, uh, uh, separate from the meat that we are, so that it impinges upon me and others constantly in that wise, and very few uh, structures that have been made or, or things on the street or within the society are geared to the literal cellular uh, moist uh, meat that we are, which is not fashionable these days. What's fashionable, people love like computers and things like that because they don't sweat, they don't dribble, there's no mucus. There's no, no disgusting effusia coming from them. They just, they're dry as hell. They just either do it or don't. They unfortunately get viruses and otherwise break down and give people problems, but they're, they're not some messy, sweaty, slimy, semeny, uh, egg-laying, self-reproducing, <laughs> disgusting thing that people have come to think of humans, alas, as too much being. And, and, my grounds <laughs> are to try to restore that love of however difficult it is and slimy, that love of that being with meat, that with your own meat at least, and hopefully someone else's as well, and, and, uh, and others, and have some little meats and so on, go on. That's my excitement. So, but there's also, there's taking this meat and it comes to thought. Now, I don't know why, but for me, like so many others, who also, most of whom, don't really seem to know why, the O.J. Simpson trial became an enormous crisis. First of all, I came home and I was searching for something else on TV and couldn't find anything. I mean, I was astonished to begin with that people, they tell me that people can't stand abstraction. Whole nation bumped every other kind of show to watch the dullest possible uh, series of one square being followed by four other squares across uh, lines for five hours or something like that, you know, on the thinnest possible plot uh, line. And uh, so that kind of fascinated me, not the image in itself, but that there would be that kind of uh, involvement. 